Hi everyone, this is Olga Diambo with Gem Accounting and Tax, and today I want to talk about cash flow. I know in with this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of business owners are going through challenging times and wondering whether they will, they'll be able to keep their doors open as this uh, pandemic progresses. So today I want to talk about various sources of funds that you may use to make sure that your business is still surviving these COVID times. The first item that I want to talk about is um, SBA.gov. So the government has offered tons and tons of resources for small businesses to access funds that will allow them to keep their doors open. So I'm sure you've heard about the Paycheck Protection Act. And basically what this is, is um, a fund that will help business owners keep their doors open during this pandemic. Um, the one thing you want to make sure that you know is that PPP funds can only be applied through a designated lender. Um, you could either use your local bank or you could use uh, organizations such as PayPal. Um, there's another organization called Cabbage uh, with a K, so K-A-B-B-A-G-E. Or you could also use Lendio, that's L-E-N-D-I-O. These are organizations that have been approved to help process the PPP fund. Um, based on the information, the latest information that we have, uh, PPP funds are still available up until August the 8th. So if you haven't done so, um, whether you're a sole proprietor and you did have a, uh, a, and you fill out a Schedule C for your taxes or you have employees on your payroll, this is the time to apply for the PPP funds. Remember, if you apply, if you get the PPP funds and then you apply for the forgiveness, it becomes a grant to your business. That means you don't have to pay it back. So this is a good way to finance your day-to-day -day operations for your business and specifically for your payroll expenses. The second uh, type of funding that I want to speak about is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. That's the EIDL. With the EIDL, um, you may qualify to apply for a loan through the sba.gov the website so all you have to do is go into web um, uh, the sba.gov website um, follow the the link for covid19 and see if you can get an application in for your uh, disaster uh, funds um, the SBA is going to determine how much money you're worth. I've seen people get up to 150,000, others getting 10,000. So I guess they're looking at different variables, how long you've been in business, your industry, or just, you know, your credit score. So use this in, you know, use these resources. If you feel that you're running out of money and you don't know if you can keep your doors open for the next six months, I think this could be a good um, resource for you to update or get, get your cash flow uh, going. Um, the terms for the SBA loans, okay, so it's a loan. That means you have to pay back. But the terms, in my opinion, are very favorable. Um, the loan is for 30 years, sort of like a mortgage, and the interest rate is 3.75%. Now you can't beat that rate. The third thing you need to be aware of is that you have 12 months from the time you get the funds to start making the payments. So imagine you get a $15,000 loan that you don't have to pay on for the first 12 months. And in addition to that, it's spread over 30 years. And so the monthly payments are likely to be less than $100. So if you have a need for cash at this time and you need to pay utilities, you need to pay for your employees, you need to repair some, you know, regular repairs in your, in your, in your child care center, your home day care center, or you, you're having difficulty coming up with money for your PPE for, you know, to keep your center open, this is a time to consider SBA.gov. Remember, this money has to be paid and you need to keep really good records so that if SBA comes knocking at your door asking you, how did you spend this money? You need to be able to show them that indeed the money was used for the operations of your daycare. Okay. The third source of funding that I want to talk about is your local state government your mayor's office, the local county office, 
a lot of times they may have funding for small business owners and, and these funds may be in the form of grants and if it's a grant you may not have to pay for it but you have to do the work you have to do the research you have to apply for it give them the information they're looking for have your tax returns done so if they want to see how much money you made last year have that ready for them it might help you get some money to purchase PPE, to make petitions, to create extra room for your children so that they can, you can then, you know, um, have the kids in during this pand pandemic. The fourth thing that I really, really want to talk about is HR 7027. Forget about the um, the complication or the sound the sound of the of the bill, but this is a bill that's currently in the Senate. The House passed it last week on Wednesday, the 29th of July, and now it's going to be with the Senate. Now, if you can, please reach out to your local senator, call their offices, go online, Google their names, and reach out to them and ask them to please vote for HR 7027. And this is really the child care bill. And what this bill is going to do is potentially provide funding and grants to organizations in ECE. So and um right now the, the the dollar value they're talking about is up to 50 billion with a B dollars. So if you are hurting as a center and you need funds to keep your doors open, reach out to your senator. Doesn't matter whether they're Republicans, independents or Democrats, reach out to them and implore them beg them <laughs> tell them to approve that bill because this industry is needs the funding and we have to get the kids back to the learning that they, they were before the pandemic so if you have any questions regarding how to get your funding which loan options may be available to you please reach out to me uh, directly or or just post something on online and let me know what your thoughts are again this is Olga Odiambo with Gemma accounting and tax have a wonderful day.